Um, so imagine, imagine you're really sick and everybody, everybody is delusional about it. Imagine that. I, I remember I, I found a card that somebody wrote me, a family member wrote me about, or no, a gift, a little gift that somebody gave me, uh, a family member gave me 12 years ago. And, you know, I've been, th this has been a decades long battle trying to get the help that I need. And, uh, I read, I, I saw this little gift that somebody gave me about 10 or 11 years ago. And inside the gift, they wrote this, what they probably thought was, you know, this hopeful message to me. It was, um, you know, oh, I hope you can sort. It, it, it was like a message, like... Um, it was written like they thought I was in a state of depression and that they hoped the hoped the best for me and that I pulled out of this and, and that I could they hoped that I could reflect on my thoughts and feelings and stuff to pull out of this and and as a person who is sick and fighting for health care, it's like what? Like what? This person is is absolutely under the belief that this is that the problem is depression that that they don't understand that I'm fighting for health care I'm fighting fighting to get the help that I need the the medical help that you know when you're medically troubleshooting You know, during this crisis, during this fight for health care, and I really do believe uh, that I'm on the right track, that to get surgery to open up my airway is is probably, well, I can't imagine going on and on with without help um and it's it's taken me forever to figure all, all of this stuff out and it's i've i've fought so hard to get this far and there's so many things i've had to do to get this far to survive this long to live this long and, um, oh my God, like some of the things I was thinking in bed last night, one of my family doctors, one of my long time family doctors, now imagine this scenario, like th this is just crazy making. Imagine this scenario. I, I became so sleep deprived and so ill from not sleeping that I, that I, my long time family doctor moved offices miles further away he used to be just downtown and it used to be so easy for me to get there he moved his office further out i don't know like who knows like 15 miles further away or something and i became so ill that i could not no longer drive that distance especially through rush hour or whatever because i was too sleep too impaired from sleeping when you're when you're when you have consistent severe insomnia it is just like being impaired by alcohol so i could no, i had to give up my favorite doctor because i couldn't drive to his office anymore so i had to switch to a doctor closer and doctors were just trying to drug this issue out of me, trying to medicate this issue out of me with sleep drugs, right? 
Um, and now my new family doctor, like just holding the belief, they, 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 these doctors held the belief that there was nothing wrong with me and, and were just really trying to medicate it out of me because they thought it was depression or anxiety. And I'm critically sleep deprived from medical issues, right? Because I can't breathe because I can't, I had been fighting to get assessed for sleep apnea for years and nobody believed me. It's like, you know, you want to grab these doctors by the shoulders and shake them and say, wake the hell up because I'm losing my life. My life is slipping out of my hands. And imagine this scenario. The The next doctor was my doctor for years and, and them, well, prior to that, not the other family doctor, but I was seeing a psychiatrist. The psychiatrist was absolutely just held this belief that these issues weren't real, that, that, you know, that, I mean, this critical sleep issue, they absolutely believed that it, no matter what I said, they believed that it was anxiety or, or depression or something. And they were drugging the hell out of me trying to drug the apnea and drug the sleep issues out of me. You're not, you're never going to drug a medical issue out of somebody. It's not going to happen. You will never drug the insomnia. You know, you will never drug sleep apnea out of somebody. If anything, you're going to, you're going to make their issue way worse and compound their, their problem. So imagine I became so sleep deprived that that 90% of the time I couldn't drive anymore. My family doctor was bringing sleeping pills to the house, delivering sleeping pills. And he's delusional that this is a mental health issue. And, you know, he started coming to the house bringing pills and I, and I have such cognitive dissonance. I don't know if this, I literally, I remember thinking, I don't know if this is crazy of him or kind of him, or if I should call somebody or if this is highly inappropriate. Like I, I couldn't understand what is even happening here.